All right, Slackboys of Fans, here's one you probably never heard of. The, the Amorous Adventures of Don Quixote and Sancho Paza, a very sexy live-action musical comedy, otherwise known as The Erotic Adventures of Super Knight, of course. Let's check it out. Our movie basically follows Don Quixote. Here he is rescuing a woman who was, uh, I guess, laying around with this man. She's mad at him for interrupting her sex. He ends up arriving at this place where he's going to meet Sancho Paza. Of course, there's some bucks and women there. He ends up betting those two ladies. Sancho Paza sings to his wife. Those are chickens. Sancho Panza! Where are you, you good for nothing limp whoremonger? Here I am, sweetheart. Oh, don't you sweetheart me! Quixote and Sancho. Leave this place. I shall give you the opportunity of saving your future by working off your debts with me. You can pay me. Of course I can pay you. I can pay you in, in chivalry and glory. This movie has some action too, and here he finds this thief. And he's going to rip him a new one in his ass. He rescues another damsel in distress. I am not yet a knight. You saved my life, my honor, my virginity. My father's gold should be yours. As a knight errant, I have no use for earthly goods. Another song I can't show you much because uh, she's topless. But she doesn't fare well after boning Mr. Quixote. It wasn't meant for her, though. Here's a damsel underwater. Actually, Don Quixote's underwater. At one point, they get captured. They think they're the gold thieves when it's really that guy that he was fighting before. They're going to prove it by pulling down his pants and seeing the slice on his ass cheeks. And although I can't show you them pulling down his pants, that's what they do. Now they're arriving. Breaking into song again. This woman was going to sleep with Don, but he fell asleep or something, so <laughs> this other guy came in to step in instead. And then there's the woman with the chastity belt. Why don't you order a duplicate for the black? I did not want to tell you, but now I must. Your husband, the noble Count Escobar, made me take a ritual vow in blood in the name of the holy Francisco Sinatos, never to touch your chastity belt. Oh, 
Nonetheless, there is an attempt to uh, pick the lock and get in there. No? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Contessa. Uh, uh, please don't, don't fret. Sancho gets a girl, too, at one point. At one point, a pickle is used to try to open the lock on the chastity belt. Doesn't work. Quixote is leaving. Giant men going to dummy up against your will. Giants abducted. It appears so, your lordship. Well, I, I, I will save her. I have no time to. And then the part of the Don Quixote story that we all know, attacking the windmill, that is in here too. In the name of Dulcinea, vile power, giants, one night alone attacks you, and one night alone shall destroy you. Sancho <laughs> Paz has a threesome where he talks about women can't get pregnant. Here's a song about a brothel. And more tunes. And another fight. And this is the end of our film. about the Amorous Adventures of Don Quixote and Sancho Panza, also known as the Erotic Adventures of Super Knight. This is a movie that I picked up in the early 2000s. I don't know where I got it, eBay or something. It was a bootleg VHS. Um, the box art looked like that. Um, I thought it was a PAL videotape. However, it looks like... Um, well, it was a bootleg of a PAL videotape is what I thought. But it looks like, from what I looked, found this week, it looks like it actually was released in America under this title by Imperial Video Corp. I've never come across this tape uh, I don't know, it's very rare, but I also found out it was released as a VHS in this country under the title Erotic Avengers of Super Night, which is a videotape I do have. So I actually copied both onto here, into this and burned, burned two discs, and uh, I think I was watching the Super Night version, actually. That's the opening credits I showed you because the picture looked a little better. Uh, but anyway, the movie is uh, like the other 70s uh, softcore musicals that came out, like Cinderella and Fairy Tales. Um, I thought this was the weakest of the three, though, to be honest with you. And it's too long, also like an hour and 44 minutes. Way too long for a titty movie like this. Stars a cast of virtually no one. Uh, the guy who played Don Quixote, this is the only thing he ever did. Um, Candy Samples, uh, sometimes porn actress, was uh, in this movie as well. Uh, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say sex, but there's a lot of fooling around. There was actually there actually wasn't a whole lot of sex. Now that I think about it, but there was some fooling around and implied stuff, but which really wasn't implied either. But uh, it just basically follows the Don Quixote story, which I don't know all that well, other than the fact that he attacked a windmill. Did he attack it with a toothbrush? What am I thinking of? I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, the story here, and I, perhaps they kind of faithfully follow the story. I have no idea, but along the way, he picks up Sancho Panza, and he ends up sleeping with various maidens and this and that. He gets arrested at one point, almost killed. Um, there's some sword fights, some sword play. Actually, there's some people who die in this movie, too. Um, ultimately, they find some gold at the end, and he and Sancho Panza 
escape and leave, and that's the movie. Uh, <laughs> the back of this box list is a bunch of songs in here. The songs are just ridiculous, as in all these movies. I don't think they were as catchy as the ones in, like, uh, Cinderella, which had some really catchy tunes, actually. Um, you know, they're rhyming words like uh, golden hair to derriere, you know, and all the lyrics are raunchy, and I don't think there was any swearing in them, but they were definitely uh, adult, put it that way, but... It's a strange movie, a strange little relic from 1976. It's a virtually non-existent film. I don't know where you're going to find this movie. I'm sure there's a couple places that are bootlegging this out there somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but it's certainly not in DVD and uh, anywhere in the world that I don't know of. And um, Although I wish it was because I'd pick it up because I'd pick up everything I have, but <laughs> including this kind of junk. So anyway, I didn't think care too much for this movie, but whatever it is, what it is. There's plenty of nudity in it if you're looking for that. Um... And if you're looking for it, good luck, though, because like I said, it's going to be hard to find. But anyway, that's it. Check it out if you can find it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you've ever seen this movie, if anyone else out there besides me has seen this. It, you know, there's a lot of shit that I reviewed that I think I'm the only person in the world who has seen these movies besides perhaps the actors and the directors, and maybe not even them. I don't know. This falls into that category. Let me know what you think about it. Watch it. Bye.